Yo, I ain't here for the money, I ain't here for the fame Though it might be nice to own a jet plane I'ma do it all for you, come along and see it's true But the world is pretty cool got a new series. Murdered Soul Suspect is now over. Time for Until Dawn. I know it's an older game, but I don't really care about playing all the popular games if I don't enjoy them. This is a game I feel like I'm going to enjoy. And with jump scares and stuff, I feel like it'd make for good reaction and, and stuff for you guys. So, let's get started. The Butterfly Effect. A tiny butterfly flapping its wings today may lead to a devastating hurricane weeks from now. Isn't there something like that? Like if a butterfly flaps its wings, a tornado can start on the other side of the world. Some just a little like that. Ripple effect. Small decision can... Okay, so I know that we play the multiple characters, because I've seen... So, yeah. I know that we play the multiple characters. until dawn with it but I'm going to choose currently playing yeah that I am currently even if that means someone else so like I'm gonna choose the choices that I would do if I was the person like it's probably the best way to play this game. This doesn't do what Murder Star Suspect did with the audio. So I'm hoping you guys can hear everything. See if this subtitle's really good. Okay, so I gotta. Don't you guys I'm like think free this room. is a little bit wrong? Come on, she deserves it. It is not her fault that she has a huge crush on my. Hannah's been making the moves on him. I'm just looking out for my girl M. Just because he's class prez doesn't mean he belongs to everyone. Mike is my man. I am. I'm not anybody's man. <laughs> Whatever you say, darling. weekend. Josh. Okay, I should be at access settings now. I'm gonna turn subtitles on. Done us all. Mm. So the camera angles are funky in this game. Man, if that's the only thing to do. 
Alright, come on you weird camera angle. Yep, there we go. So I just have to do it again. Oh, maybe I have to go towards that door. Ah, right, something over here. What are you? I know you're sitting on that shirt, but I bet you would be better out of it. Come to the guest room at 2 a.m., Mike. Oh my god. What did our naive sister get herself into now? I got your note. Glad you could make it. Maybe we should start with a little, you know, making out and see where it goes from there. others wake Josh. Well, I don't think Josh is waking up, so let's find the others. Guys, there's someone outside. What the hell? Anna! What's going on? Where's my sister going? <sighs> it's fine. She just can't take a joke. It was just a prank, Han. What did you do? We just messed around, Beth. It wasn't serious. You jerks! Yep, so now we got after two of them running off into the tundra. No, I kind of think you're the last person she wants to see right now, Mike. Press correct action before the timer runs oh, out. Shit. This shit is right. Why are you in this much of a hurry? Uh, uh, fast. I, I like to think I got a good reaction. That other guy. So I can, I'll, I'll go footprints. I'll get those. Because this character doesn't know. Oh no, this character does know this. I'll get it. Touchpad. Yeah. Hannah! Thought she was gonna make a call. <laughs> Surely I wanna like on the ground in front of the ground. <laughs> oh my god. See, little shit like that make me jump. Hello? Hello? What is this? Is 
Oh, alright. What's a death totem? I want to read this. Indigenous tribes believe that butterflies brought dreams and traditions. Each totem piece fulfilled a possible future event. Head play will determine whether or not these prophecies come true. As you unlock totems, the events of the past will become clear. And we've got a death totem. Awesome. Rather, the character not already die. Huh? Some funky camera angles, not gonna lie. Casual flamethrower. What the hell was that? Can you point the Hannah. torch where I'm pointing it? Hannah! Hello? Hannah! Oh my god, you must be freezing. Here, take my coat. I'm such an idiot. I'm so dumb. What the hell was that? Hannah, is that? Hey, we need a run. We need to run. How are you gonna trip in a situation like this? Oh no. No! No! What is it? Stop! What is it? Yeah, that's a that's a full arm strength. Right Hold there. on! Hold on! <laughs> oh, I would Oh wait, that Oh, that's not the choice I meant. <laughs> I thought I was in drop The other one was drop Oh, nah. Alright, well I need to read the options a little bit more literally. Before we begin, there are a few things I need to make sure you understand. You see, no one can change what happened last year. The past is beyond our control. You have to accept this in order to move forward. But there is freedom in this revelation. Everything you do, every decision you make from now on will open doors to the future. I want you to remember this. I want you to remember this as you play your game. Every single choice will affect your fate and the fate of those around you. <sighs> so, you have committed to commence with this game. This is significant. And I want to help you see it through. Sometimes, sometimes these things can be a little scary, even terrifying, but I'm here to make sure that no matter how upsetting things may get, you will always find a way to work through it. Hmm? All right, we will start with a simple exercise. Could you please pick up the card? And I want you to look at the picture on the other side and tell me what you feel about it. it. It is essential that you answer honestly in order to get the most out of this experience. Scarecrow on a bomb. So, how did that picture make you feel? Remember, be honest. I reckon... I don't know. 
I guess, on a farm at night, it could make you feel uneasy. I'm gonna go with that. Okay, honesty is good. <coughs> what do you think it is that makes you feel uneasy? The scarecrow. Person. Well, I night. see. I see. Let's see. The scarecrow were not there. Would you feel comfortable staying there on your own for a period of time? Let's say a week, for example. I wouldn't be worried about looking at the window and seeing a huh. person. And um, what if I told you that this cottage was haunted? Well, I believe in ghosts or anything like that, so I wouldn't care. So, the scarecrow frightens you, and yet you don't appear to be bothered by the possibility of the supernatural. Yep. I suspect that someone is not being entirely honest with me. Excuse me? <laughs> our time's up. Let's investigate that in our next session, shall we? Well, I don't believe in ghosts, so I wouldn't be scared of it being haunted, but I'd be scared of the scarecrow late at night if I'm looking at the window and thinking that it was a person watching me. So, that's the truth, mate. Alright, so of course I'm going to play through this um, multiple episodes in one sitting. That's the way that I'm going to do it, just like the previous episode. Um, being that my voice it is kind of equal to the game volume, but you never know with PlayStation. Um, like I said, I'm going to choose choices based on the character I'm playing. Um, they're going to be, the episode's going to be roughly 20 minutes, except for this episode. This episode's going to be a little bit short because it's just the whole intro bit. Um, it's bit to the main gameplay starts, so that's when I'm going to cut this episode. Um, So it's going to be roughly 20 minutes per episode and I'll pump them out every other day until it's over like I did with Murder Cells Hospital. Uh, so yeah, hopefully you guys will enjoy the series as much as I will. And I'm going to let this run through so you can see all of this. But I'll catch you guys in the next episode. Peace. Today is the one-year anniversary of the dreadful tragedy that took place on Mount Washington. Annie Klein was in charge of the investigation. Thanks for having me, Marty. Listen, there's an update on Hannah and Beth Washington, the twins who are still missing. One year ago tonight, the Washington girls left the safety of their parents' lodge and headed out into a snowstorm. Foul play. Not officially, no. There is one individual we're considering as a person of interest, but his whereabouts are currently unknown. He has an interesting history with the Washington family. He had warned them against pursuing their construction project and claimed the land was sacred to his forefathers. You know, there is still the old sanatorium on the mountain. Could he be hiding there? My officers did search the grounds, but the girls themselves couldn't have made it that far. Something about that mountain seems to breed tragic events. More than you know, Marty. Thank you for joining us, Andy. With all the Washingtons tonight, their son Josh, on this, the anniversary of the mysterious disappearance of Hannah and Beth Washington. Well, hello, friends and fans. All right, let's do that again. All right. Well, hello, friends and fans. It's beyond awesome to have you guys all back this year. Um, first off, I gotta say, I am super excited to welcome all my pals back to the annual Blackwood Winter Getaway. <laughs> so, um, let me just let you know, uh, let's take a moment to address the elephant in the room for a second. I know you're all probably worried about me, and I know it's gonna be tough on all of us going back after what happened last year, but... I just want you all to know, um, it means, it means so much to me that we're doing this. And that, uh, I know it would mean so much to Hannah and Beth that we're, we're all still here together, you know, thinking of them. 
I really want to spend some quality time with e each and every one of you and um, just share some moments that we'll never forget for, for the sake of my sisters and, you know. Okay, so let's party like we're fucking porn stars, okay? Make this one trip we will never forget, all right? Yes! end it here. Next episode will be out two days after this one comes out. Thanks for watching guys. Peace.